Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. The instance of animal species going extinct has to be one of the saddest things on the planet, but some allegedly extinct animals are believed to still exist by scientists. Today we're looking at 10 such extinct animals that may actually be alive. Let's begin. Number 10. Coelacanth Coelacanth belongs to an ancient lineage that has been around for more than 360 million years. This scary bottom-dwelling creature could reach more than 6 feet long and weigh about 200 pounds, and they're covered in thick, scaly armor. It's estimated they can live up to 60 years or more. That's almost the same lifespan as the Megalodon, which we'll talk about in just a while, so stick around to the end. Additionally, coelacanths possessed a hinged joint in their skull to allow them to open their mouth wider and a rostral organ both of which are characteristics that are no longer found in vertebrates today. It was believed that coelacanth went extinct until it was found in 1938. Until then, they were presumed to have long perished in the late Cretaceous period over 65 million years ago. But with port construction, bycatch, and climate change, these ancient fish are again at risk of extinction. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. The Quagga It's thought that the Quagga became extinct due to overhunting in 1883, but in 1984, genealogy technology revealed that the Quagga was actually a subspecies of the plain zebra, meaning it has the same DNA. The two species share the same genotype, though their observable characteristics are different. The Quagga project was started to try to recreate the Quagga through artificial selection of plain zebras. The project has had some success. The first Quagga-like zebra foal was born in January of 2005, and the fifth generation foal was born in December 2013. Scientists hope continued selective breeding will lead to generations of plain zebras almost identical to the extinct quagga, which could then be released in the wild. Number 8. The Moa These giant wingless birds were first seen when people first arrived at the islands of New Zealand. They were very different from other flightless birds such as ostriches, emus, and cassowaries due to the fact that they had no wings. They were extremely large birds with the biggest reaching up to 12 feet in height, easily the largest birds on the island. Unfortunately, due to what many believe is overhunting by the early Maori people, these large majestic birds went extinct between the late 1300s and early 1500s. Or did they? In the 1940s, Australian painter and bird enthusiast John Gould reported having seen what he described as giant kiwis in New Zealand's South Island. There was also a picture of a blurred, huge bird that went viral. Once, there was an article published that stated the moa had been seen by hikers in 1993. There were also photographs that hinted the bird still exists in the forests of New Zealand, but no concrete evidence has been found. Giant historic footprints that match moa's feet have also been found in the north part of New Zealand. What do you think? Does the moa still exist? Number 7. Short-Faced Bears Bears are already too scary, but there's something else you need to know about their ancestors. About a few hundred million years ago, it was the time of the short-faced bear, the largest bear species that ever lived. They get their name from the shape of their heads. Because they were short-faced, these giant bears had a much stronger bite force than modern bears, even grizzlies. Not just that, when they stood on just their two legs, these gigantic beasts could reach the height of around 11 feet. The modern polar bear only grows up to 1,600 pounds, but their South American cousins are likely to have tipped the scales at 3,500 pounds. Isn't that just crazy? Native Americans say they've seen short-faced bears and believe they still exist. If they do, we need to be really scared of them. Number 6. Woolly Mammoth The woolly mammoth lived during the Pleistocene epoch about 2.5 million to 11,000 years ago. Its closest living relative is the Asian elephant. In the prehistoric animals world, the mammoth is among the best studied. Its behaviors and physical makeup have been looked at quite extensively in comparison to other extinct species. This is all thanks to the discovery of its preserved remains in places like Siberia and Alaska. 
Researchers have also been able to find its teeth, skeleton, and even both stomach content and dung. Considering such a wealth of information, it's only natural that scientists will try to revive this beast. To do this, researchers are picking the closest relative alive, the Asian elephant, for what we'd say assistance. What this means is that the genes of the woolly mammoth are introduced in the elephant, giving rise to a close enough replica of the extinct mammal. While the offspring won't be a true mammoth, it'll have similar qualities like being cold-blooded, a hairy body, and small ears. Number 5. Megalodon In the world of big predators, even the tallest bears and birds wouldn't want to tangle with the biggest sharks that ever lived. From 16 million years ago to about 2 million years ago, 50-foot-long creatures preyed on whales, apparently biting off their fins to immobilize them. Just for comparison, a megalodon was three times bigger than a normal shark these days. According to some studies, a megalodon's bite was strong enough to crush a car. A wide number of people believe that megalodon still exists and hasn't been sighted yet because only 3-5% to of the waters of the world have been discovered. There are still various mysteries that are yet to unfold, like Megalodon and the Kraken. Number 4. Mokele Mbembe Everyone knows that the dinosaurs died out a while ago, in fact, more than 65 million years ago, give or take. But some people believe that dinosaurs linger on, hiding until the present time in the remote jungles of Central Africa, especially in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The region is the reputed home of the Mokele Mbembe, an amphibious dinosaur-like creature said to be up to 35 feet long with brownish-gray skin and a long, flexible neck. According to legends, it lives in caves it digs in riverbanks and feeds on elephants, hippos, and crocodiles. There is no real evidence, but some people believe the Mokela Mbembe could be the famous Loch Ness Monster. What do you guys think? Number 3. Pyrenean Ibex can you believe that this wild goat once roamed the earth until as recently as 20 years ago? The Pyrenean ibex could be found mostly in France and Spain mountainous regions, but their numbers fell quickly and only 100 or so existed in the 1900s. The last of its kind, a female going by the name of Celia, died after a tree fell on her in January 2000. There's no single reason drawn to explain their extinction, but scientists believe a combination of poaching, encroachment, and diseases led to the fall of the Pyrenean ibex. All hope was not lost, however, for scientists managed to clone the species using DNA obtained from the frozen skin cells of Celia, the last Pyrenean ibex. The de-extinction attempts of 2003 were a success, well, a short-lived success at that, since the first cloned extinct animal lived for only one hour after it was born. But scientists have everything they need to do it again, this time with better results. For now, it's back to the drawing board on the Pyrenean Ibex de-extinction project. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Saber-Toothed Tiger When modern humans first wandered into Europe some 50,000 years ago, this snaggletooth cat was probably there to greet them. Until about 10,000 years ago, the saber-toothed tiger was a fearsome predator in what is now the American West. More than 3,000 fossilized cats have been pulled from the acrid ooze of the Labre tar pits in California. The species is actually much older than thought before. Fossil evidence dates it to around 1.8 million years ago. The saber-toothed tiger is remembered with wonder as a relic of the last ice age. Despite its size, weighing in at around 5 feet long and 440 pounds, and its two 7-inch canine teeth, environmental change, lack of food, and human hunting saw this fascinating beast die off from the face of the earth. There are various theories on how this creature went extinct, but some researchers believe that it still exists in the colder parts of the world. There has been no proof, but the North and South Poles are still barely discovered, so we can never rule out their existence. If they do exist, we need to be scared as they might take revenge on humans. Are you strong enough to fight this huge beast? Number 1. The Megatherium Sloths are the least intimidating creatures. If you're somehow terrified of one, don't worry, you can always outrun these fat guys. However, these are modern-day sloths. Back in the day, they had much more active ancestors, and they had a bad attitude. During the Ice Age, one of the creatures you wouldn't want to cross paths with is the Megatherium. 
These giant ground sloths measured up to 20 feet long, bigger than an elephant. They are thought to have died out at around 8500 BC. However, scientists have started to believe that a small population of these terrifying creatures could have managed to survive in extremely remote areas, like the Amazon rainforest. Some say that they endured for 5,000 more years, but eventually went extinct. Others say they still exist to this day. Old Amazonian legends tell the story of the Mapinguari, a 9-foot-tall animal armed with massive claws, backward-facing feet, and an extra mouth on its belly. Which of these animals do you think could be alive today? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.